So I basically almost didn't graduate. I wasn't okay for 40 days and 40 nights. I'm currently going on a shopping spree. A graduate! Her! I don't think y'all understand what I just said. I'm graduating. A degree, a certificate, I'm gonna walk down the aisle, that aisle, that thing. I'm gonna walk down with that gown, that thing, and get to hold my degree in my, after all these trials and tribulations. Damn. Anyway. Hi guys, it's your girl Nods, and I'm back with another video. And today's video is a graduation prep type video. I think I'm just gonna make it a whole thing because you guys like long videos now nah? so I'm gonna make this a big video yes I'm gonna make this a big video from the prepping of the graduation till I get to hold my degree by my hand like until it's here like see this image right here we have to recreate this we have to hold the degree by our hands and be happy anyway today my mom is taking me to the shops to the places to look for outfits to look for things i think we're gonna go to gateway and then we're gonna go to durban durban because we have to look for traditional things because i have a memulo coming up and if you guys don't know what a memulo is it's like a 21st but like for zulu girls <laughs> and it's like a coming of age it's a coming of age thing for zulu girls where like your mom and your family just like as a girl they thank you Uti, you know you you've done so much you've accomplished so much and then there's the whole virginity thing to it whatever but i think for my family it's just like oh my god you did so much you're graduating you're like damn this is crazy but yeah it's that so we have to dress up in like traditional things I'm probably gonna vlog that as well because it's such a journey you guys are gonna see it's so it's gonna be so crazy we're gonna be doing things you don't even wow we're not even gonna be you know you'll find out in the video anyway I'm talking a lot but um yeah when we're, we're gonna go to gateway and then we're gonna go to Durban Durban to look for things I'm so scared to go to Durban Durban because Durban Durban is very very pickpockety people holding you by guns it's very dangerous it's not the safest place in the world <laughs> especially lately like the stories I've been hearing are crazy anyway um yeah before my mom shouts at me for doing a lot um she's so cute she fully said don't forget to charge your phone because you're going to be taking all these videos and I was like I said damn bitch thank you I knew but the fact that you already know means a lot anyway like comment subscribe and I'll see you when I see you Okay, there's a lot happening right now. There's a lot happening. There's even a lot happening at my house. There's things. There's a lot happening. There's a lot of things I have to do. So, this face mask, nah. Ignore this thing. Take me seriously. I just have to do my skincare because, like, fuck, all this stress. Why is it so dark? Oh, that's better. All the stress is getting to my face. 
and I'm just popping out pimples every single day. I'm popping out pimples and I'm like, can I get a break? Please, can I get a break? I need to look good for graduation. So I have this on and I'm going to have it on every single day. I don't care what the dermatologist says every single day. And I'm steaming my face every single day. Anyway, um, I think it's been a few days since I was in Durban, Durban, shopping for things. And yeah, it was a crazy day. Like the lady at the traditional store place was so mean. She was just like, no, you can't take videos here. And I was like, why? Because I was about to spend some money at your shop. Like guys, traditional beads and stuff are so expensive. It's so wild. Like I was like, what do you mean this necklace is 1,200? 1,000. And I was like, damn, I said, damn, bitch. Like, what do you mean? Okay, so what I want to do is I want to show you guys the things I got. And speaking of graduation, let me tell you, I was so down bad that day. And I just couldn't find things. Like, I fully couldn't find things. Bro, I went to Zara, I went to H&M, I went to Forever New, I went to so many places. I went to YDE, I even went to Willie's, bro. I even went... I went everywhere. I even went to Truett's. There's no place that I did. Like, if it was a shop and it had clothes, I went. And I couldn't find anything that says graduation. So, I ended up just deciding, Yazin, let me just get a basic dress. And then I will dress it up. And then I found a dress at, like, Cotton On. And it's a dress I tried on, like, two months back and i was like oh how am i gonna buy this dress on my student budget you know and then we went to pavilion and then we found this dress at the cotton on there because we finished gateway all the shops there then we went to pavilion and then at pavilion i was like yeah dude let me see what cotton on has because i was actually going to cotton on to get like gym stuff now nah. and then i stumbled upon this dress and then I was like, uh, okay, where are the sizes? And then the guy was like, dude, the sizes are at Springfield Center. And I was like, Springfield Center is opera. First of all, they looted Springfield. And I was like, Springfield? He was like, yeah, it's back. And I was like, damn, I should have went there in the first place. Anyway, we go to Springfield and then we get the dress. And there's so many of these dresses. It's like they said, you know what? This factory shop is where we actually make the clothes. So yeah, there's everything there. And then, yeah, I got the dress. And I was like, okay, I could dress this up. And then I bought some jewelry as well. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys that and my traditional beads. I'm so excited. My traditional stuff. It's too good. <gasps> oh, shit. Yeah, it's too good. Anyway, that is me. If you guys are curious as to who is that, that's, wait, that is a drawing of me my friend did for my birthday. She got someone to do it for her and then she gave it to me. Anyway, that's me twinning. Anyway, um, let's do this clothing haul. Um, this clothing haul is really not that deep because... This was supposed to be a graduation clothing haul, but my graduation things haven't graduated yet. So I'm gonna show you the traditional stuff. And these are the OG Shaka Zulu sandals. Like, I'm so happy. I will literally wear these outside of a traditional setting because if Shaka wore them on a daily basis, then I'm gonna wear them on a daily basis. Then we got this umbrella because you know i don't want to open an umbrella indoors because it's bad luck but this is the umbrella you carry around you carry around like this while people put money on you and it's like yeah yeah fine i got dead anyway i like gang gang beads like you won't even believe it so first of all we got this bad boy that goes around like this click do you see the material? Do you see the material? Do you see the material? Do you see this? Damn. And then there's, there's this. And this goes here, but it can go out the back. 
as well. I remember my mom just being like, Gandhi, how many bangles must my daughter have? So these go like this and they jangle like that. Focus on the bangle. Can you look at the material? Look at the details. Damn, that is too nice. And then I saw this nice ass bangle after I got these bangles now. This one. Th this one. I've never seen a bangle like this. I've fully never seen a bangle like this. It's too nice. And then I'm fully out of breath because damn. And then we got the OG ring situation. But it goes on like this. Damn, my hand is dry. This is so OG Zulu girl type thing. So you wear this on this side. You wear it on whichever side. But I think I'm gonna put it on this side and then put this bangle here and then this and then the other ones on this arm. But yeah. And then there's this. So this is called a skeleton. It goes here. Because fun fact, I'm gonna be showing my titties out on the day. Like that's wild. So it's gonna be here covering my titties or whatever and you know the titties are gonna be tittying but um <laughs> yeah that's gonna be there we have these puff puff things i didn't realize how bad they were you see them nah but yeah like it's so like it's getting undone like you can see it like coming off but you can't see it on camera but it's coming off and it's so hard to put on but these are supposed to go on here and there's two of them imagine i'm really going all extra here see there's that and then like my theme for the day is black and white for the other girls that are going to be standing with me and they're going to be wearing black and white and then i'm going to just go off with the colors you know i'm gonna be a decorated girl and then we have my favorite thing not exactly my favorite thing i'm gonna show you my favorite favorite thing anyway we have this girl right here that goes on like this this is peak zulu girl things like this peak what where's the lighting where's the lighting peak zulu girl things you know so excited okay there's this um i don't know if this should be on the other video or whatever but i am guys bro it happened this week so i'm gonna show you these things now i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to make a vlog of the day i'll probably make it like a week in my life as a zulu girl type thing i don't know because i can't do that this whole in that video because yo that video is gonna come out in december Anyway, let me have these, not these earrings. I saw them in the corner of my eye. Have you ever seen such beautiful beadwork? Like, what do you mean? Like, this is so nice. The other lady that we shopped from, because we were getting like pieces and pieces of things from different shops, she was so nice. She's the lady that we got. There's a packet. No, no. She's the lady that we got this bad boy from. This bad boy that goes on here. Oh, this, this one, my favorite one. This one, damn. I'm excited for this one. This, I've seen so many girls wear this and I was like, damn. And I was like, I can't wait to wear this myself. Anyway, yeah, there's that. She gave us free earrings and my mom took them because you know, she doesn't have earrings that look like the other earrings. <sighs> so my mom took them, but that's fine because I have these bomb ass earrings. This goes here. Like, you know, I can't, you know, I can't, but it goes on there. And then, yeah, there's two of them. My mom is actually such a clown, but I see her vision now. Nah. She was saying I should wear these traditional things to graduation like put on the chair like you know like put on the things and then when you get to the stage ushau for jay you know when we say ushau for it means like do the traditional dance or one two three four and then you know 
you get your degree but like i see it i see her vision you know i see the traditional stuff on the i don't know maybe i'll think about it but the thing is i want to wear my traditional stuff on the day of ume Muloami, so i don't really want to debut it at Stellenbosch really no I want the KZM people to see me like the people I want to see the Zulu people see me within my traditional stuff but I see her I see the vision and I'm gonna show you the dress that I picked out for graduation we went to the basic basic girl store cotton on and this is the dress it's like a silky dress man this is the dress. I don't know if you guys can see the detailing. It's supposed to go like this or whatever. Like it's so basic. Look, it's just a basic plain dress. And the thing is, I'm gonna be wearing a basic ass robe thing. What makes me happy is that our, I don't know, our hood is yellow. So that yellow is gonna pop off. Cause every time I was going to look for a dress, I was thinking, damn, what's gonna match with this yellow thing like some people have red blue that's so nice like what do i wear because mine is yellow like that's such a weird color too you know but yeah um i got this dress i cotton on and it was actually what's the original price what is the original price this is such a crazy price but the original price is 600 but i got it for 350 at springfield value center to match with this it's like gold plated like i really said you know what because it's graduation let me just swipe my mom's card um i don't know if you guys can see this this thing doesn't want to be seen by the people <laughs> you see it looks like that and it has these little rhinestones on it it's so gorgeous like bro i will get a colorful necklace uh i don't know which is supposed to be oh so half of it's supposed to be gold and half of it's supposed to be like play play like very fun see has a smiley and flowers and then the gold chain it's so cute but it's such a fun thing so i will have fun dressing up this dress and then i just have to look for shoes now like I genuinely don't even know where to start with the shoes. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you when I see you. I don't even know the direction of this vlog, like honestly, but I know it's gonna be long. Hopefully, you like, comment, subscribe, and you tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their neighbors, their cats, their dogs, and everyone around them to come through and let's get to 10k. Okay, guys, mini life updates while I make my breakfast so i went to go get my nails done and i also got my hair done look at how long my hair is my mom couldn't find me at the mall because she thought i was an indian anyway that's very wild anyway so i went to go get my nails done by the way i hate them i hate them because i went to the place where i usually get my nails done here in durban and when i say usually i mean like twice now but they did my nails really nicely the first time and i was like oh this place is nice and then the one guy usually does my nails and i was like okay he was busy at the time but the guys were like okay it's fine we're just gonna put tips on you and then suddenly he's painting my nails and i'm like no not you and he couldn't even get the design right because you see it's supposed to be a like a zebra type thing but it's not it's not it's just black lines on white so he couldn't get the design right and then they had to take me to the guy that usually does my nails when he was done painting this other girl and then he just couldn't fix it he just couldn't fix it anyway i hate them and now on saturday i'm gonna have to redo them do my lashes do my brows do my hair and honestly if something just gets messed up in the process of saturday I'm just gonna end it all because it's been a fuck shit week. It's been a very hectic week for me and I just, it will be my last straw. Anyway, I also found my shoes. Guess where I found them? Because I was going to all these fancy stores. Gandhi, Mr. Pras is chilling with a nice shoe. But let me not back them that much because like here, yeah, nah. Like it has a, an issue 
there you see right there like and this was the like the best one the others were literally falling apart they were falling apart and i was like let me scramble for the size five and i was just scrambling and i know people people hate the fact that i wear size five people are always concerned why i wear size five i wear size five and that's okay this was the best one out of the ones that were there that were crumbling and falling apart and i actually tried to put together my whole fit for graduation and it looks good it actually looks good after all the fuck shit i've been through this week i was like damn we gonna look good as fuck anyway i'm very excited now like i'm very excited but saturday has to go really well it has to go really really well because even though these nails man i hate them so much they're so long and i'm just like i cannot do shit i'm going to go dye my hair as well because remember we were like brown situation and they had to dye my hair and i asked for natural black and they dyed my hair black black so this is actually not as dark yo my hair is actually also very thin because i've been ironing it so many times because you know because i was in Stellenbosch so i could only go to that colored salon because i trusted them because they did a good job but like ironing my hair for a while really made it so thin so i've decided not to do that anymore and i'm actually contemplating cutting my hair next year i don't know maybe you know a little short thing maybe dye my hair like all the other cool girls and guys but we'll see this is like a major life update and i can't even breathe because i'm trying to say everything at once i'm excited for these to go i really am they might look really good on camera because i can see on camera in Atiji. I look like a bad bitch. But in person, they're crumbling. They're dry. Go show me lady. And I just wanna yank them off. I'm very happy with my outfit for graduation, even though it's black. I also had to buy foundation because the girl that's doing my makeup said I need to buy foundation. I'm actually also very scared for makeup because like how how does one even look when they have makeup? Also scared for the lashes because they must look like how they look on instagram they must look the same way anyway i am leaving on sunday for stellenbosch and having my hair done and lashes and brows done on saturday so they better come up proper and i don't know if i uh, don't know if they're gonna let me vlog there because they didn't let me vlog that time i was vlogging my matric thing in matric so i don't know i just also haven't been vlogging that much because i've just been going through the fuck shits and i thought the last time i'd say fuck shit and all those things was during school during university but here i am going through the fuck shit once again also i forgot i'm actually getting my keloid removed i'm in the process of getting my keloid removed say hi keloid so yesterday they had to inject me with steroids in my keloid it was it was awful like i cried in the, like i really cried and my doctor was like oh yeah you don't see yourself doing this again in six weeks and i was like bitch bitch i don't want to do this ever again and i have to do it every six weeks six times until i go for surgery and i'm like why am i going for surgery there's a possibility of this thing just shrinking with just injections and this lady is like do you need to go get it cut off and i'm like bitch come on man come on anyway that's what's happening in my life right now and i just can't wait to graduate man i feel like when i get that done i'm just gonna feel so much better by the way didn't get that job and i wasn't okay for 40 days and 40 nights but it's okay it's okay i'm gonna try other things i think i don't want to work next year but we'll see we'll see what i do i think i'm just looking for a job just to like please my mom or put her at ease but we know i don't want to do that because i just got out of school now i must go nine to five i don't see it so guys we must find something I don't know what, but I don't feel like working. I'm asking so it's a giant. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you when I see you. Hey. Hi. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Oh, hi there. 
Hi. But guys, look, we fucking graduated. It's so wild, man. It's so crazy. Anyway, I'm back in Sambosh and I look different. I look so different. I look mad different. I have lashes. I got my brows tinted, new nails. Like I told y'all, these are my length. And these just make sense. Like they just make sense and they're simple and I was really scared to do something dramatic because I was traumatized from my last thing. Anyway, wow, like it's really kicking in that I'm graduating. Like damn, we're in Stellenbosch for the last time. That's wild. Anyway, we're at our Airbnb place. Shit. We're at our Airbnb place and uh, we just got here. It's literally like four o'clock. Um, actually, I don't know if I like these brows and these lashes. I feel hair actually. But like, that's why I just always overthink things because I'm just like, I always just have a vision. Anyway, but like this wasn't my vision. It just came to life out of nowhere. Anyway, this is ha this has been a very, very, I don't know, vlog. Bitch, I kind of look like a baddie. <laughs> I don't know. That's very scary to me because I never thought I'd... Like, this is so weird for me. Like, I'm looking at myself right now and I'm like, bitch, is this you? Really? Like, do we want to do this forever? I'm not sure if I want to be this type of girl. So, I don't know. Anyway, um, I hope I look good tomorrow. I put together my outfit and I'm very excited for it. It's like, it's so simple, but I just feel it's giving graduation. And I need to go get my hood. My hood is that thing that goes over here. It's yellow. <laughs> it's yellow, so you know, it's gonna look so nice because I also have yellow in my necklace. Her, you know me, I'm gonna get a colorful necklace. Anyway, I wanna do like a house tour. But my mom and my aunt are busy chatting in the next room, in like the main room. But I don't know how I'm gonna show you guys. Maybe I'm gonna do a voiceover. Maybe let's do a voiceover. Maybe let me show you guys and then let's do a voiceover. Anyway, yeah, let me do that. So this is where you enter and these are the cupboards and the living space. And in the cupboards, it's just glassware and all the cups and things and closing and in here was plates and saucers and right here there were books and there was this cool book the bro code from how i met your mother toasters and just one toaster and a kettle and more things here and then down here was just like pots which we never even used and a microwave and Stuff there, kitchen things, and this table actually had a map of Stellenbosch, which was actually really cool. And then this is the living space, the couch I really like, and there's this big ass lamp here, like out, I don't even know, and a disc, a glass disc. Anyway, yeah, that's the whole living situation. There's this nice full length mirror when you walk in. Very, very cool. And then, when you walk in here, this is me and my mom's room. You have those there, and that. It's my messy ass bag. Guys, I finally did it. I bought the House of Dragon book, and I'm currently reading through it. This is a storage. Space. That's my gown because I'm graduating. That's the iron board and hangers, and that's me. Um, yeah, we have an iron hair dryer safe, and yeah, that's it. They also gave us towels, and just like this is a view from outside. This is the place. This is the Selamash Mountains again, like we know them. Yeah. Basically, that's the room. Guys, look at this bank of artists. Oh my God, Grace is in her bag. Damn. Hey guys. Hi, this is Grace. She also has a YouTube channel. So like, comment, and subscribe. Do the most, please. I can't believe I believe that we have a 
live as 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 what as a graduate 
as a graduate i don't even know i don't even know how to speak anymore like do i speak like an essay do i speak intellectually i don't know like what do i eat for breakfast which side of the bed do i sleep in like i don't even know but i'm very guys i feel so free like i feel oh my god like my days guys i'm done like it's official it's signed sealed delivered like it's on paper that i'm out i'm out of the system i'm out of the hood i am out of the hood because i'm out of the hood damn anyway so i need to actually tell you guys about my day my day let me start from the beginning actually before i start um i need to show you guys what i got as like how, what am i how am i gonna say this like i'm currently going on a shopping spree my mom and like my family know i'm very picky like so you can't just buy me a gift like that like you need like, they don't know me like that to buy me a gift so i'm just going on these little shopping sprees and i did my first one today but it's not like a lot of stuff because i was like are you guys serious you guys really like you guys want me to spend money well, the lighting is fine the lighting is fine you guys want me to spend money so now i'm gonna show you what i got like it's so cute like it's it's cute anyway let me show you okay i'm just gonna put you guys in this cupboard because i'm trying to find lighting and the lighting is just not lighting but i went to this god forsaken place cotton on and bitch i got the best bitty skirt in the world but it's kind of big on my waist so i'm gonna make it smaller i hope this is fine like this view let me put you guys back <laughs> into the cupboard you guys are fully in the cupboard this one i'm gonna try this on this is too cute do y'all see this do y'all see this damn right you just can't see the length man i'm literally gonna st i'm literally gonna stand on this bed y'all need to see this see the skirt but it's kind of big at the back and then here and i just i'm so excited see it's perfect with the pockets and the, wow damn yeah excited for this damn it's too cute like it is too the color is definitely out of my comfort zone and you guys know this i hope this lighting is not like disturbing you guys it would disturb me when i edit this is gonna disturb me damn i was struggling for 40 days and 40 nights for this lighting to only light now i was dumb anyway this is a bit out of my comfort zone the color but y'all know i'm obsessed with these with these racer crop tops like i'm um, just you know this is my shit man and because this was a shopping spree i got three colors okay i got three colors i got this all these colors are out of my comfort zone in a sense this one and this one and this one i've never even worn purple i don't even remember a time when I wore purple. Anyway, got these three. I'm so excited. Look at how minty they are. I want to try on this one because I didn't wear it. Like, I didn't try it on at the store. So, let me show you. Work with me, lighting. But you know, the titties are really tittying because my period is coming. But you see, this looks cute and it's very, it's very long as well. So, you can just like tuck it in or you just live your life or whatever but like per basty like per this color is very very different to what i usually wear oh now you can see this color 
So do you guys see this color? Like it's very, it's very cute man. It's very minty. It looks like that pure skin thing. This is exactly what I was talking about when I was talking about that pure skincare thing. Remember? Yeah. But it looks like this. It looks like it smells good. It looks like it smells It looks like it smells good. Anyway, y'all see this? Do y'all see this top? My titties are tittying. Like, cameras don't show exactly how this looks. Because in the mirror, this looks bomb. But there, I'm not seeing the same thing. Anyway, let me show you what I got at Zara. Fucking shit. Yo, this tag is literally irritating me. Anyway, so... I was at Zara and I was thinking clothes. I don't buy at Zara at all. I just look online but I never buy because shit is just so expensive and it's just well, crazy. But yeah, I was just browsing through Zara because you know it's a shopping spree and I'm not paying. So I was like, let me see what I can get here. And then I was looking, I was like, nah, not today. There's nothing that's screaming, you know, you need this. And then I saw these. I saw these. You know, like, I know some of y'all are gonna judge me, but these, my mom is currently judging me. These are so, these look like a truck, bro. Like, a, these look like a tractor. Anyway, so I got these. They're in a size five. The thing is, let me show you these shoes. I've genuinely been needing shoes like like sandals in a sense but like open shoes to go somewhere i always find like very girly sandals time i just want sandals or like platforms that i can wear with like jeans leggings like very casual type like i can put them like i can wear them with anything and i can wear them and it doesn't have to be formal but i can wear them and make it like a fit like an outfit but you know i don't know if you get me but i know you guys see the vision you guys probably see the vision but yeah so i'm happy i have these sandals because sometimes i can't be wearing sneakers all the time something needs a sandal sometimes you're in like a you're like in a skirt you're in a dress not you can't wear an all-star you can't wear vans you can't wear sneakers so you need versatility you know so yeah that's why i got those and i plan on investing on more and i need more colors this made me wow wow like look at the wow damn and it goes wow anyway um yeah let me tell you about my day now so i basically almost didn't graduate yeah i fully almost didn't graduate because i was late and the whole thing the whole week they've been sending emails about how you should be seated at half past eight and one thing about me I'll plan ahead, nah. I'll plan ahead and I'll know, go to listen, this is gonna take this much time and whatever. And I woke up at literally five in the morning because I knew I had to go get my makeup done. And I also had to go fetch my hood. My hood is that thing that goes over your, your gown or whatever. When I went to my makeup artist, it was fine. It was chilled, time was still okay. Finished, left, then I called the Uber now. The Uber guy gets to where I'm at, like, around the Narva, around on route, that area. And then out of his did did he just cannot find me for a good 15 minutes. A good 15 minutes. Time in that 15 minutes, I could have walked to the place that you get your hoods. Cause it's basically down, like, it's by the stadium and the stadium you can walk to from like Minerva and places like that. My makeup artist was just in the area, like lives right there. Um, so basically now, I'm just like, damn, why is this man not finding me? He takes me to Kutzenberg now where we get the hoods. And in Kutzenberg, because it's graduation, it's auspicious, okay? It's an auspicious occasion. So rarely there's traffic in this place. Now we're stuck in traffic for a while. Mind you, now it's 10 to 8. I should be seated at half past 8. Mind you, I went to my makeup artist not dressed in my shit. I didn't even carry it because I was going to come back to our Airbnb and change hi gay we go to we get there and then i get there and the line for getting the hoods is long as fuck i have my proof of payment on my phone stand on the line okay it's five to eight i make it to the front and the guy's just like you need to fill in the form 
also it's fine i have a proof of payment we'll fill in the form i go fill in the form i go back to him he says oh you didn't have to fill in the form because you are buying the thing and i'm like it's cut some like my time Lalang is cut some like like do you understand which I cannot be late this is my graduation everything is riding on this everything is right my youtube channel my career my academic career my mom my family everyone that's rooting for me wants to see me graduate today anyway hi again so after you get that if you from this line you have to go to the next line where you collect things i collect and then i call my mom like dude just bring all my shit here because it's a sports stadium video there's changing rooms there's locker rooms we can change here i tell her to bring all the things all the things not me running out of airtime and then i try to buy airtime from Capitec, dialing star something something they tell me i need to change my pin today today i need to change today i need to change my pin we are cool and someone is plotting against me i was like there's no way like there's some supernatural thing because why is capitec asking me today to change my pen so now i am just like what and then my mom calls me back and i'm like thank god for this woman because all my days because at that point she was very useless i'm not gonna lie she was useless because she could not come and do the things i need to do at stalinbosch because i have to do everything on my own and i was just like i have to fetch my own hood i have to do all my th you see and then i was like nah dude you have to do something you have to get all my stuff my edge control my brushes my jewelry get all that shit bring it here my perfume everything hi yeah now we late okay now it's eight o'clock and i'm like fine it's eight o'clock and then it's five past and I'm like, okay it's fine and then i get my hood and then i say i book an uber i already called the uber for my mom and them like earlier on and they were on their way tell me why the traffic now i'm watching them on the tracking thing at uber on uber they're not moving and i'm calling her she says there's traffic there's traffic there's traffic there's traffic i'm like oh hey boy, guys guarantee there's traffic there's traffic 10 past 8 quarter past 8 10 past 8 10 past past and i'm like guys what the fuck and then levy's there levy's like hi boy, dude what's happening with you she's looking me up and down she's like this is not your graduation fit and i'm like obviously not obviously not i'm in all stars i'm wearing all stars i'm basically rue from euphoria right now we are in euphoria i am not okay anyway tell me why my mom gets there at quarter to nine quarter to nine and we're supposed to be seated you know what helps that there's a long ass line of prospective graduates walking in and it's a long line it's basically not moving and i go to the changing rooms and then i meet a like and then i meet a cleaner and then i'm asking her where can i change she's like yeah you can change here she's like let me help you she helps me she puts on my shoes for me because my nails are just like nailing and then yeah i put on everything put perfume i was even wearing the wrong bra put on my gown i fully just put all my clothes underneath a bench in this changing room anyway it was just a maza i walk outside everyone's still in the line lady calls me she's like girl come i got you and i'm like lady lady thank god for lady like thank god for lady anyway yeah and then we just walked in bro we walked in and then the rest was history now i'm a graduate like look at me thousand tribulations cannot bring me down anyway guys um thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for always supporting me thank you so much for everything thank you so much for being here since the beginning during the whole thing and still wanting to be here after everything like it means everything to me thank you so much for following me on this journey honestly being in Salambash really made this channel really made me who i am today like it's so wild like i'm done it's crazy i'm so excited for what we do next like honestly i don't even know but all i know is i'll see you guys next year yeah yeah tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their other other friends to tell their neighbors their cats their dogs and everyone they know to like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye